So a little bit of a backstory. This old computer that I built in 2008, it was failing by showing a black screen intermittently. Didn't know what it was. I thought it was the graphics card. I bought a graphics card about three years ago and it wasn't that. It just sort of resets, goes into like a DOS mode. I'm no expert. I don't know really. So I um, chucked it in the bin and then I rethought really about it. I thought, well, it's a bit of a waste. I might as well see what I can do with it. So I took it out of the bin. Now it stinks of dog shit and it's very dusty as you can see so I'm going to clean it up see if I can do something with it the last time I put an operating system on was uh, 2012 I did a little bit of a video on that installing Windows XP for the last time in 2012 and now I'm probably going to install it again <laughs> See what I could do with it. Budgets gaming PC. Oh, I hope I've had it in the right way. Doesn't smell so much of dog shit now, this. So, believe it or not, I'm actually going to reinstall Windows XP again in 2021 I'll see what happens I might be able to play a game you never know you might be wondering why I've got this plugged into my television well the graphics card that I've got is uh, a GeForce 710 I believe and it's got HDMI port so I thought might as well be comfortable kind of San Miguel to go with it. So I've installed XP but I can't get the audio working so I decided to install the motherboard disk which has got all the drivers on and then it says that at minimum you must have service pack 1 installed for Windows XP. So it's saying I suppose that this XP install is even older than I thought. To help us improve the quality of our products, services and training, this call may be recorded or monitored, and information collected on this call may be accessed by Microsoft affiliates, subsidiaries and service providers internationally. To consent to recording or monitoring of this call, press 1. Or to continue without recording or monitoring, press 2. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation. To activate Windows, press 1. To activate Office for Mac, press... If you're trying to activate Windows 10, press 1. Otherwise, press 2. Okay, now take a look at your screen. I'll ask you to tell me the installation ID. The installation ID is a long number broken into several groups. I'll ask you for one group at a time. Please enter the digits in group 1. Block G is 1. One, nine, five, seven, one. To repeat that final block, press one. 
Amazing. It's worked. <laughs> Finally, after updates and activation. <laughs>